Hello, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you a few little things they've got in Marks and Spencers. So they've got their Christmas items out and some Halloween bits. So I wanted to show you what they have and then also at the end I'm also going to do a quick haul of all of the foodie bits that I bought from Marks for Christmas and Halloween this year. So I'll play a little bit of music and I'll show you all of the products that they've currently got in Marks and Spencers for Christmas. And then these are the items I actually brought home with me to try. So we've got a couple of Christmas items and then some Halloween treats. We've obviously got the Halloween Percy Pigs. My hubby loves Percy Pigs and I just had to get them. They are the Get Spooky version. I actually can't see what um, Percy looks like. I think he's meant to be like um, this, like vampire, but he looks no different to me. <laughs> No, I tell a lie, there's orange ones as well. I just moved the bag around and you can see the Dracula orange Percy Pigs as well. So I'm sure hubby will like those. We picked up a bag of those. I got these vampire fangs. These are extra cheesy. <laughs> the labeling's so cool. It says, could cause a pain in the neck, not for suckers. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Um, I'm hoping that these taste nice. They're in the shape of vampire fangs. They're just gonna be like cheese puffs. So we picked up some of those to try. I brought two hot chocolates. Now, I brought a hot chocolate about four days ago and I've actually chucked the tin away, which annoyed me a little bit because I wanted to save it for this haul. Um, so I got the orange one a few days ago. I've tried it since in the Velvetizer and it is incredibly tasty. So I went back for the mint. This is like their Christmassy hot chocolate and it's a mint flavor. It's three pound, but I feel like it's well worth it. It's really tasty with some hot milk from the Velvetizer. So I went back for the mint and I'm gonna use the mint and the orange one this year. 
I also picked up some Collie and the Caterpillar. These were a bit of a splurge. I just really liked them. I just loved the design. So I'm going to put these away probably till next week because they've got the date till the 11th on. But look at those. How cool do they look? They're just the chocolate sponge mini rolls and they are the mummy version ready for Halloween. I picked up some Christmas tortilla stars. These have got a life on them for ages. So I'm going to keep these till Christmas, probably Boxing Day. They last till the end of January. They're just like tortilla chips, but they're in the shape of stars and they are multicolored. So I think they'll make a nice addition to my Boxing Day table. I also went for this. Now, this was a bit of an expense, but I'm putting this away for Christmas. So Christmas Day, we're not sure of our plans yet, but we're going to end up probably at someone, someone's parents' house. So either my parents or my husband's parents. And I just thought this was a really nice thing to bring along. So it's a Jenga full of chocolate. It's a chocolate topple tower and it's got milk, dark, white and blonde filled chocolate blocks, just like Jenga. And I just thought it was really cool. It was £8, so it was a little expensive. These are the different flavours you get in there. And there's plenty of the blocks, so there's plenty to share as well. So I picked up those. And then the last thing I got were these cookies and scream. <laughs> these are frightful bites with biscuit pieces smothered in a screamy white and milk chocolate. Honestly, I just had to have them. I want to know what they look like. I'm going to open these up. So this is them here. They're just solid white chocolate blocks filled with um, biscuit and milk chocolate inside. You actually get quite a few in here. There's a fair amount and I think they're going to be so delicious. So that is the last thing that I picked up. I wanted to start getting a few bits like here and there for Christmas just to stock up. I don't want to have to do a big Christmas food shop this year. I want to get something every week and then add it to my cupboards and just kind of keep a stock of the things that we're definitely going to need. Um, and this was part of it. So some nice little treats here for Christmas. And then we've obviously, of course, got the Halloween stuff. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what they had at Marks and Spencers and what I brought. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.